Shepherd, recently I grieved a lot. It was a lot of grief. I had coming from a prayer place in Ibusanza. When I went this road that goes from Rubirizi, this new road from Rubirizi, I saw many people building their house on one person. He gave you that book telling you that he gives you the second chance. prophet. The this is your season in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! The miracles Jesus did in the mornings were very nice. The first miracle Jesus did in the morning was about taxes. He says, let's make a way so I can pay it's for people to go. It's a, it's a miracle he did in the morning while they have called them for taxes. He says, I do not accept things that can catch up the house of the Lord. Fish are fish, take money and pay the taxes so we can go on. This is the first miracle happened in the morning. Today in your morning, please meet your God. So that you can meet with that miracle. So your ways can be good ways. Second miracle Jesus did in the morning. Early in the morning. It's a miracle he did in the morning, 840. He did it for a man who was leading the army. I call upon the policemen and the army to believe in Jesus. I believe the security levels to believe in Jesus. I call upon all the people who are connected to security to believe in Jesus. Because what they are incapable of, Jesus is capable. This. this man who leads the army he had a servant who was sick. Then he asked, who is this man who is making a lot of things in the country? They brought him Jesus when he passed by the man stopped him. He said, please save my servant. Jesus said, I'll come and save him. Pastor Jean said it. This leader of the army had built a church when he was not supposed to pray in it. He I call upon everyone who is an employee who have something to do with support the of the Lord so we do somewhere. People who have money that is doing nothing come and keep it to God. Everywhere else you lose it. When you ask, there is no other issues that say sorry. Even the hackers came. This leader of the army in his money. He took a part of his money and built a church. That's what the Bible says. And he wasn't going to pray in that church he built. Something that scared me. Is that God kept that on his heart. And the people 
before he did it, four kept it on their hands. When Jesus lived there, they said, servant, this man loves our people. Even this church we are praying from is the one who built it. I want to tell you that some people who have the abilities to build the church, one person. But we do not need one person to build the church. We need someone who can bring their strong powers and then include ours. And then if God bless him, he blesses us as well. Is, I want to speak about the power of evening. What happened immediately Jesus said I will come and heal him it's okay the man lifted an anointing of faith he said it's, I do not deserve you coming to my house just command and my servant will heal this evening if you believe you will find it at your house this evening exalt your faith and you find it on the roads of the home this evening exalt your faith so that will, uh, will leave the hospitals. This evening exalt your faith that will reach the borders without going there. This evening exalt the faith that goes to the market before money comes. This evening exalt faith that puts things in alignment. Listen to things that happened to me. I was so scared when I read this The Bible says when Jesus saw the faith of that man, he said, since I have lived, I have never seen faith like this one, even in Israel's let me give you the secret you do not know this leader of the army he, was, he had more faith than Abraham I repeat this commander of the army he had more faith than Abraham if what, if what you read you accept it and approve it this man had more faith than Abraham since I have lived I have never seen faith like this one even in the Israel this evening lift up your faith to the level Jesus will say since I have lived I have never seen faith like these people here who, which will cause God to work amen. let's say amen now listen to that miracle that it happened the sick person was healed before he came to Jesus and then he saw one of the servants running they say teacher our leader, please do not be a burden to the teacher. Our, your servant have healed. And then what time did he heal? Others said it was almost 3 He said that which means everything ended in 10 minutes between 8.40 and 3 p.m. Those are the two miracles Jesus did in the morning. The rest of the miracles, many of them, you will find them in the afternoons. When Jesus fed people, he fed them afternoon. When he healed many sick people he healed them afternoons. When he chased away demons he chased them afternoons. Let this evening be a special evening for you in your life or in my life. May the name of the Lord be glorified. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Let's say may the name of the Lord be glorified. Let's read the word of God. Let's read the word of God. In the evening. In the evening is where God visited people. The book of Genesis says. In the evenings that when God came to visit Adam and Eve. In the evening. 
w'imbaraga gukira no kubohoka power deliverance and healing uh, w'imbaraga gukira no kubohoka mu byandike hari yababire write it on the screen we have a problem of low mindsets. We are speaking about it with Pastor Jen. If good things belong to the devil, why do not you go there? Someone who is blessed, they went to hell. Someone who works the Lord with when they went to hell. If all of these things belong to the devil, why do not you go? Is the way closed? Because they are like that. They work with evil spirits. Now, Jesus resurrected people. Did he have evil spirits? Tell your neighbor, receive life in Christ. I receive the life of God. The actions of God are still going on. The power of God is still alive. The servants of the Lord are still alive. The working miracles of the Lord are still alive. Which is the reason why I'm on the side of the people who speak good of the Lord. Whoever will speak the good things about the Lord, I will follow them. Whoever will thank the Lord, I will love them. If someone speaks good about Jesus or makes them my friends, if I have trouble and speak bad of them, I say, Let it be a lesson to you. Jesus is a great man. Man. Jesus is a great man. Jesus is a great man. He gives houses to those who do not have anything. He gives word to those who do not have any word. He knows the dates when we are born. Take all of your identities and see. My identity is written like the Republic of Rwanda. The Republic of Rwanda. I can read that as well. Identity. Nation ID card. Indangamunu Ijihugo. Amazina names. Barakajira Pascal. Itarichi Yavu Tseho. Ngiria, ijitina, ngichiria, ahoya tanjiwe, ngaharia, uwariwe, nguria, umukono wanyira yonguria, indanga munu, national ID number, ngibiria. There is no father in this identity card. You cannot see my mother on my identity card. But this thing behind 053 That is the code of your identity card. When you give it when they want something it, your mother and father comes because there is a code. When people see us going, they know our faces and our names. Like the codes of our parents are hidden, you cannot see them on identities. It is the same way we are hidden in the code of the blood you cannot get us out of there. Our life is hidden in the blood of Jesus. Our life is hidden on the cross God. The code of our lives is hidden in Jesus. It is impossible for one who does not have it to follow it. It is impossible. Those who know their Lord will not fall because they know their identity. That's why you go through your enemies and it is not refused. They see the face, they see our date of birth and everywhere we come from, but our code of life is hidden in Jesus. The word you are going to read it says by the time there is no answer Jesus is the answer. 
The grief of someone who sits here who does not know him. Everyone of you, if you know Jesus, please come and be still. I love prophets to deliver. I can take my bus and go visit them. Someone told me, why do you not prophesy to yourself? All of those people who cook, they eat at last. Prophet. If a week concludes without listening what the Lord is speaking to me, I feel like I do not know myself anymore. You, you joke with God who says one thing at Tibayas 20 things. God concentrates and says, This is what I'm telling you. He says some word and say Pascal, that's what I'm saying. That creates 20,000 things. You hear God speaking in a tongue, in a different tongue. And then you say, what is God telling me? An old lady told me, listen to how the Lord is speaking. He's speaking that in a particular tongue. He says, God is saying that like which means God is giving you life only in Zemini. Now he's saying Zeminikita. Now imagine Zeminikita, it means you never fall on the ways. Let's read in Luke 10, 11. By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. When there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. I'm so blessed to see Pastor Jean, he's my shepherd. That servant of God, they go together. He's my son-in-law. He's my son-in-law. Now look at someone who was like nothing. Please do not despise my Jesus. Please go slow. Go slow, my dear friends. Go slow. What, what you do not remember finishes quickly. Please go slow and let us speak of this king because we are the only ones who knows what he has done. Good. How can you explain that? How can you explain that? You, you take someone who is just a dog there on the roads who were abandoned by people because they cast others. I, I cast people for seven months. If you love me, love my God. Now, how can you love me if you do not love my God? Telling me that you love me and then you're beating my children? That's not love. But when you reach where Jesus was, he says, I'll change everything in you. Today things have become new. We are people who stand in front of people and say something. By the time people are looking at us and run away from us, we don't cast them. Now they are calling us to bless them. For that reason, all of them receive the blessings of the evenings. I'm blessed to see my pastor, Pastor Eugene. I was grieving. He stayed by my side. Everyone left me. 
where he said he was in Changugu, I used to go to Changugu to drink porridge. He would pay a bus. He said there is life here. Come and I create life here. I have a child I called the name because of Pastor Eugene. I got sick and nobody could give me maids in the world. The wife of Pastor Eugene, he didn't also, she didn't also have that money. She, she borrowed. I was grieving and when I give birth to the child, I called her Babazi. That child is called Matthew because of the mercy you had on me. Those people who say people have become bad have become worse. I have seen good people. Do not confuse me. The bad ones are you as I have good people including Pastor Ejen. That please remove your eyes from people. That people are the worst. You are all so bad. Aren't you a person? The bad is that one you have seen but I have seen a good please distinguish things do not mix things because of your scars is there someone who bought you something to drink when you saw where aren't you waiting to get it up there now you are beginning to drink it from here before you go up promises are beginning to be fulfilled when he's erected a child of a widower, when there was no answer. Abigishwabe <laughs> Amen. Just watch. I recently met a shepherd somewhere. We are all asking God for power and anointing. He said, I have seen you now. God is telling me to bless you. Now bless me so I bless you too. He blessed me. He said I'm opening your two realms. Have peace. And then nothing else I'm saying. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the rewards of that two realms. If you do not approve of a rabbit, please accept that it runs faster than you. If you do not accept that someone is a servant of God, accept that others accept him. If you do not love black things, accept that there are some who loves them and lives with those blacks. If you do not eat bread anymore, accept that some loves it. So for us, we approve and accept what we have seen and testify. This parent, the Bible says first he's a widow. Secondly, he's grieving a lot. She lost the only child she had. She lost the only child she had. She cried and cried a lot. If I come from the funeral, where am I going to go? There is someone who is here and say, may God help us so we spend the night here. Am I going to go home in that fire? If God helped us and we spend the night here, I The parents said, if I come from the funeral, where am I going to go? Things are not working. 
Now the culture of saving people People supported her and accompanied her On the way going to the funeral This parent was crying like we do cry She cried and cried again She cried a lot And she cried loudly but So that Jesus could hear from her he said this parent who do not have an answer I'm going to give her an answer And if I get it it's going to be useful to her And it's going to be useful to her heart May God do something that is useful to your heart And let it be known on your outer face Sometimes you are sad on your heart and physically you are also sad then he approached the lady and said, Mother, do not worry, I know your situation. The Bible says he approached the dead body. He approached the dead body. The Bible says he approached the dead body. And then he touched the body. Those who were having the dead body stopped. He said, Son, I command you wake up I command you wake up The Bible says The one who was dead He woke up And he began to speak to Jesus And Jesus gave the son back to the mother May Jesus give you back your space Today may Jesus connect you back to your people Today may Jesus connect you to your activities This evening may Jesus connect you to our activities In this evening may Jesus do good to you Shepherd Recently, I grieved a lot. It was a lot of grief. I had coming from a prayer place in Ibusanza space. When I went this road that goes from Rubirizi, this new road from Rubirizi, I saw many people building their house on one person. One person would, would cry and say, 18. That's how they were saying. By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. That the things you see in the world. All the time. Even, all the time the world will not accept the king. They will be in trouble. And those who accept the king will have peace. But those who accepted the king in that troubled world, they, have, they will have peace. Listen to how these things are distinguished. I stand. I say, what is happening there? People said it's a man who become mad and he's a smart man. When they called about a mad person, when I heard about their heaviness, I know the weight of mad people. Even though they would say they would lie that you have become mad and cannot pass by you. If they say they lie to you that you're a witch, if someone would be lying that you're a witch, it wouldn't be easy for you on your Now by saying someone becomes people spoke behind his back and gossiped and talked. I also stood by there, I looked at him, he looked smart. And he was like this. No. Oh. And he would cry. You who lie that the tears of man flows inside. A man cried loudly. He was crying like, oh, shouting like no. 
18. When she said 18 is going to kill me, we thought they bewitched him that 18 is going to kill me. Please wait. Do not judge people before you speak to them. Let people not take you according to your days. People be careful about your judgments. Because his answer is above is not on the ground. Listen to what scared me. That what happened? I'm listening to you. You tell me. He said. That, Jesus, that 18, 18 is going to kill me. And he would cry. We all couldn't to Then I took his hand. I said, come and tell me your problem. Then he said, man. I see that you are getting old. But 50 is going to kill me. But that number 18 is speaking about. He's coming from working for the permanent driving license as he was defeated. He failed 18 times. He failed 18 times. 18 went to his mind. Policemen who, policemen who help people with this exam, please make it easy. 18, he was crazy. And now he would say, 50 is going to kill me. Tell me a problem. Tell your problem among the people here. Then, what am I going to help him? I'm not responsible for anything. But I want to listen to him. I took his hand and we were talking. talking. Down there we spoke and he said, man, I came from Burundi when it was not working. I came in Rwanda to look for livelihood, couldn't work. I worked for the driving license. I kept. This is the 18th time it's not working. But what pains me is 18. It is the 50,000 my wife gave me. She said if I'd not bring it, she's going to kill me. Parents, please be easy on us. Mothers, wives. When we looked above, the Lord is our answer. Please, mothers, be easy on us. Everything will work out well. And then he was saying she will kill me. Where will I go? Where will I go? The, the man couldn't go home because the wife told him that if you do not bring it, I will kill you. Mothers, please go easy on us. Go easy on us, please. Now this is what scared me. I said now how can I help you? If I could get this 50,000 and give it back to my wife he could be calm. Now, should I pray for this man while I have the money in my pocket? Please cut off these prayers. They are not, they don't make sense. There are some prayers that should, that doesn't make sense in the church. There are some prayers that should, that doesn't make sense in the church. Do not allow people to pray for food. There are some people who are food. Bring that food we give to the people who need it so that we can pray for something we need more than food. Then he said that please would you give me a place to sleep? Apart from being a nice person, I'm a pastor. He said that please give me a place to sleep. Then he said that please give me a place to sleep. Then he said that please give me a place to sleep. Then he said that please give me a place to sleep. 
He said, My wife gave me that 50,000 by hand. I, have to, I must return it to her. In hand. By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. By the time it's not working from Jesus, it works. This is what scared me. We went to we went to retract the money. They gave but us twenty notes of two thousand, and they gave us other of five thousand. He said, "Let's exchange it for them." It was twenty of two thousand. Let's exchange these five thousand. He might think that we ha I have another money. Let's exchange it in one thousand notes. Some people are impossible. We thank Jesus that it is possible. Whatever you do, it is impossible. We thank Jesus that He's possible. And then we exchange the five notes. He said, thank you very much. Now I can rest. Go and tell your wife that you were confused about the dead. I thank the Lord because recently he called and said, servant of God, now I have my driving license. Be ready to receive the realms of your blessings. Let people take their stars and say do not allow people to take their there is still 7,000 that 7,000 have never knelt for Baal and it didn't kiss you so do not say that the servant of the Lord do not exist a servant of God can connect you to your things by the time there is no answer I said go in peace I was humbled. I went on his legs. I say, you legs. I, I manifest. You had not, not swollen. You had. I bless you with good acceleration. I was in his face. Then I say, I bless you. Go in peace, may God help you. Recently, I got it which means what is impossible to people to God it is possible by, the, by time there is no answer Jesus is the answer one day I wanted to commit suicide I took a car these big cars hadn't yet come I used to hear the, the forest of New like I took a car of 2,700 going to Changogo. When I was close going to, to, to commit suicide, there was a sister of Safari who lived in Mahanga. He said, uncle, where are you? He said, I'm in a car, I'm going to Changugo. He said, please do something as you're on the way. Tell God that God saved Teddy because he's in, he's in trouble. I'm going to commit suicide and others are asking me to pray for them. The voice told me in the car that you are going to die. If people still believe that you can call me, I can listen. Now if you speak to me, how can I not answer you? By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. Do not do bad for yourself, Jesus is the answer. Many people are fed up of good things. Many people are so bitter. Many people feel like what the Lord spoke to them is no, not true. Now the dark realm have attacked us. There are no other conversations. It's prophet. But let me give you announcement. Jesus Christ how he was yesterday. He's the same today. And he will be the same forever. The waves of many waters. All of those winds. It won't stop the power of God. It won't stop the work of God. 
It won't stop the hands of God. Instead, the hands of the Lord will continue to be hands. And the glory of the Lord will continue to be the glory of God. It will continue to be the glory of God. By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. Grab the hand of your neighbor. Tell them that you made a nice choice. You made the perfect choice. You made the perfect choice. Someone once told me. He gave me to shepherd his pigs. He told me that you boy where do you come from? I said I come around here to Veridiana's place. I'm, I'm a son of Boniface. He observed me like this and then he made his hand like this and he touched his head like this he did like this. And then again. And then again. And then he said to me. That you are an imbecile. That you are an imbecile. He said you will die with that big head of yours. I had a head that was as big as a watermelon from Hassan's place. Where there is no answer. If you're here and you love Jesus, please, I give you humorous. If you believe, I give you humorous. If you love this king, please be strong. Be strong. I had feet that waved goodbyes to everyone who does, who does not need them. Now, how would they receive my waves? They were like this, left and right. By the time there is no answer. By the time there is no answer. Kabja Arisha. Achirituro now. Achir. Achiram. Achirituro. Momher. Ira Rangera. Ira Rangera, Mama. Ive. Umfa. 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 God saves. God saves. God saves. God saves. Amen. 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 By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. Tell your neighbor what's wrong with you. Jesus is the answer. Please leave your mothers. Leave on, on that strong, on those powerful friends of yours. Please leave those places. I'm not asking you to help them. Give value to Jesus. Hear everything he talks. Hear and the world everything changes. Please stay with Jesus. And then after, he said, let me tell you. That what will you do for yourself? He speak his names, the, the names of her parents and say, you will never become anybody. I used to wear a yellow t-shirt was here. A yellow t-shirt. 
By then I had run this faster, faster, this faster, faster academics. So there, there was this t-shirt that had the name Jongle. So I was reading Joginga. Joginga. Yeah. So I had a t-shirt that was inclusive of everything. So to sit, you had to put yourself together so that you won't sit badly. By the time there is no answer. By the time there is no answer. Shake your chest. Do your chest like this. Tell your heart that please go back to your space. Jesus have resurrected. Then in the evening I want to pray. I put my knee down. I said Lord. Is that what that guy said? Who happened? Will I die with this head and this nothingness? Is it how it's going to be or not? A prophet came from corners. He said, listen how the Lord is saying. What he's saying that what people say is on their hands. It's not in the authority of the Lord. That is the reason why I will disqualify everything they say. I will go before you and level every place that is not level. I will stand by you and people will be surprised. I will bless you and people will be scared. Today by now. It's not something I can say that God had blessed me. Even standing before you speaking is a blessing itself. I'm concluding. By the time there is no answer. By the time there is no answer. Pastor Eugene. Pastor Eugene. He told me. He said, Pastor, when I look at you, you will become something. But please, do not, do not grieve because of the days you're going through today. And the shepherd would say, for you to, to wake up again, I'll be putting some, I'm putting some small fish in the car. Ask your neighbor, you can't even have some fish to eat. Someone couldn't give you something and couldn't tell you something. Do you not have anything good to tell people? If you do not have anything to give them, at least tell them that tomorrow the Lord will save you. But telling them that I dreamt you when you were mad, tell them that even though you dreamt about that, but the Lord will stand by you. And the pastor would send me fishes who would eat at my house. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I met him. We love each other on, an, on another level. That time they say you cannot go to that church. You cannot stop me. Why do people stop us from going to churches? They form them built. All of these churches you are seeing, you found them built already. All of these names you are seeing, people found them in the Bible and you see people making themselves big. That you there. By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. I gave birth to a child and they died. When he died, someone approached me and said, Do you know the problem you have? You have a lot of evil spirits. Do 
What's best is to tell God to say goodbye. But the Bible says when John was in prison, he said, Jesus didn't say goodbye. He said, Jesus didn't be calm and be strong and wait for Jesus. He will come through for you anytime. And then no, God said, God said, let me give you more children. Now, my children haven't yet died. Then where is that devil again? Recently, when my wife was at the hospital, she was running all the days. Whoever wanted took a word on her. To tell your neighbor that not look at me like that. God lives inside here. I asked God that God. When I was going to paint the dowry. When you sing. When I went. No, 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 the no, way they, no, where no, you no, sing now, what is happening to me? God tells me, I know what I want to do. I remained asking myself, where am I going to get the answer for this? I approached the Lord and I prayed. I had a blessing to see Stephen. He was leading the prayer room at Inremera. He preached about the word to remember Jesus Christ who was coming from Jude. I was sitting like on the tenth chair. I said, let me remember the king and see if he will do something for me. In the morning, a prophet came to me. He said, God is saying that after three days, he will heal your wife because you believed his word. Now this is what scared me. Three days became three years. And I asked God if you know you have Ni spoke to God, tabesha. wait, God never lies. If you have a way of fulfilling them by yourself, please you do that. But if you do not have a way, be still and wait on God. After three years, my wife healed and she's okay now. God will speak to you about something in this conversation. One month, two months, six, one year Was Stephen crazy? Was Baraka crazy? Tell your neighbor, they are lucky those who will not fall because of the word of the Lord. By the time there is no answer, Yes, we are Jesus became the answer. In the wedding of Cain, the evening miracle Read the power of evening. And that's how a dove May a dove bring your leaves that shows you that God is doing something outside here. May your dove come this evening. Everything that happened in the evening is In the evening is God and God defeated colonies. In the evening God defeated the mansions. In the evening God they are doing great work. People would 
wake up in Uyu the great miracles. May God create special Rauza things this evening. You too, you should say there is an evening I lived and God did something special. May the name of the Lord be glorified. May the good hand of the Lord be with you. And may the goodness of the Lord be with you. By the time of his Look at this man. Look at this man. Everything happened to him was terrible, but Jesus came through for him. God came through for him and saved them. There are some people who are born cast. You should die like your father. You should die like your grandfather. It's reached on the level people we are given the names of those gods. But when we reach in Jesus, Jesus removed us from idols. He created us into new creatures. The yokes of our family was removed. The idols of our families were broken. Today we are the people he created and created for the new works in Jesus Christ. So we go through all of those works. If you're here, please put your hands together for my God. May God bless you. By the time there is no answer, by the time the world doesn't have an answer, by the time people do not have answers, by the time the world has no answers, those who believe in the Lord, they are like mountains that cannot be shaken while what is supposed to shake them is around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the time there is no answer. On the Red Sea, Jesus was the answer. People were fishing the all night. When he said, when he came, he said, Did you catch anything? They said the whole night. He, couldn't catch anything. he said, Put on your net. Again. May Jesus show you the direction. I ask that Jesus show you the I ask that Jesus show you where you put your net. There is no job. There is unemployment. This is a lie. Now those who do not say that there is no job, how do they live? How do they survive? Now you do not have a job. Now how do you live? God knows how to connect things. God knows how to connect the life of an God knows how to connect the life from village and the city and he connects it. And all of us we do not die. I asked about potatoes earlier. That you ask Irish potatoes, do I not have kids? I asked about Irish potatoes, sugar, and flour. They say it is 550. Then I put my knees down and say, be praised, the, the potatoes are down now. We are not wishing for potatoes like someone who is wishing to drink soda from. I visit, I visit someone in a brother. I say, what do you wish for? I wish, I wish now to get a citron, a citron soda. By the time the answer, this Kumenyimbaragaza I call upon everyone to know about Jesus and everything he, what is that is hidden in him because in him there is everything you need. By the time there is no answer, Jesus is the answer. I baited, I baited the rat. Uh, and then I had a blessing, I had a good hand. But I had a good hand, but I also had people who were spying on me behind. 
I ask that whatever I say, please do not Kukoba call it other names. Because people know how to take small things and change it to other names. Because people know how to take small things and change it to other names. These social media is mostly because you change some stories into other things. Because that's where everything is happening. Everything that is Christianity, it should stay in Christianity. What, you going, what I'm going to say, listen to it then. Now I, I had a dog soon, very soon. I hated dogs a lot when it was... When it was shouting, I would touch my ears. Because I would only get my salary when they have when, I, when they have butchered rats. When you say that you have you have catched rats when you cannot show them, it was not allowed. Now, when one day I baited a rat, they were caught, two of them. And then the dogs ate my rats I baited. And then they were eating the rats on the bait. Because of not running fast because of the system of my feet, I pretended that they did not have a problem. I came, I came, I came. And then I cashed one. I beat it. And it was broken a leg. The owner of the dog who is the one I baited the rat for. He said my dogs are greater than you. My dog we have broken. I'll also break you. He bought, he bought something he bought something for a guy called Mateso from another place. He gave him a bread and said, please break that guy for me. I'll give you, I'll buy you an alcohol called Nyiranari. When Mateso came to break me, he said, I see that breaking you means nothing. But I have drunk the alcohol, may the Lord do good to you. I thank God that after the plans of people, and the messengers they sent to us so they can go back to us. God have stopped it and covered it because of Jesus. Their plans couldn't be fulfilled. And until now it will never be fulfilled. If you believe in that, say Amen. The peace that the Lord offers, let it be with you. I was saying that by the time there is no answer, Jesus did answer. May the good hand of the Lord be with you. May the victory of the Lord be with you. May the plan of the Lord stay with you. May the salvation of the Lord be with you. May the goodness of the Lord stay with you. And the enlargement of the church. May the Lord do it in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord 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 Jesus. And may the favor of the Lord be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is so miraculous. Yes, Praise be to God. Yes, Praise be to God. Can somebody give me a new Bible? While the servant of God was preaching, there is something that God told me. Evangelist, Sujira, have a stand. You dreamed somebody giving you the word. But 
but the word that a person gave you it was bigger than this one I have you saw was a big book it was on Saturday I was seated there I called that daughter I told her to bring a new Bible I knew that please take it on it's okay I see someone giving you a word. Come and take this Bible. Let me say what I am told. Stand here. while the servant of God was preaching I got a vision I was praying by interceding while I was seeing I saw someone has a big book it was this very big book of explanation I saw it was this kind of very big book of explanation. While I was seeing I saw a man and he had a skin of white. He was in a dress. I saw he was coming closer to you. While I was seeing I saw we were surrounded by many people. It was a very big conference. While I was seeing I saw that man selecting you among others. The time he selected you among others. While I was still in a revelation I saw him coming closer to you. And then while I was seeing, he gave you a big package of a book. No, no. And then I asked God about that revelation and that vision. The voice told me, before I tell you this revelation, I first need to ask you. Like I've seen this revelation. Was it the same? let's offer glory to God let's offer glory to God I'm going to tell you what I am told about the Bible let me show you how the spirit works I don't know the Holy Spirit brought me the same. Yes, May Jesus bless you. I was seeing and I saw this Bible. The words he was telling you are what I'm going to repeat for you. He gave you that book telling you that he gives you the second chance. You will let me know that it's true or not. That's how it is. As I give you this word, I do it like the Holy Spirit told me. I do it like the Holy Spirit told me. God tells me that He gives you the second chance. God tells me that 
protect this chance. That's what heaven tells me. Protect the chance that you are given. This man. This man. When that man gave him the Bible. God tells me that he gave him back word. I was seeing. I saw him standing in a big a place where there are many people. And I saw him preaching and many people repented. And the voice of the Lord told me that your second chance now starts. Start preaching the gospel in the morning. Tomorrow morning, God tells me that there are some clothes I must buy for you. You're going to start the work of Jesus. May God bless you. Let's applaud to God. I can see the angel of God using his charcoal on his mouth. Please have a lot of expectations from this man. Expect a lot from him. He's going to be used mightily more than he had been used. Forsaken us. <laughs> Let me tell you. Shout out to 
people who knows the value of giving birth and raising those who knows the value of teaching and learning business people who knows the importance of benefits one Mwana wa mama sugira mukozi w'Imana mugenzi wanje Imani ivugiye aha iki Imani kubwiye ikirindisha iki kubuza shyira mu bikorwa iby'Imani ivuze ucaha ducaha akozi b'Imana twishime ko ntabwo twabuvuga twenyine wabuvuga gute gute abarokore hallelujah hallelujah sanyo sangaruriryo bibiri yaho nga Jiru Murongo ni usufu jira muri yo bibiria Iyo bibiria shasha Imani kwa hainga mahiru kwa ya kabidi Jiru Murongo mge ni wazi Kwa mera ya samashi Applaud to Jesus Paska hagara ni mande Hagara ni mande Hagara ni mande Ayana hagara ni mande Ayana maboki mani moha Kabatu shirira wa bakuchi Let's have the word in the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 1 verse 5. I bless the Lord tonight. Praise be to God. 1 5 Habakkuk. Let's read the verse 5. Now the Lord is the Lord. The Lord is the Lord. The Lord is the Lord. Bugemere na homa mubirwa na ubirwa na ubirwa. Imrongo imani huo maeku akatanda tu. God gave me this verse on Saturday. Imani ramu kila mguji heni ch. And God told me that this is the season. Abano baje baje wastati zange. For the people who see my status. Nandi tewe shamba ni vuga mguji heni ch. I wrote on the word that says this is the season. Imore na kubano bata tu vuga mguji heni na weni cha. Touch on three people and tell them that this is your season. While a Christian met Eplon, he told him three words. The first words of what he told him. He told him that the only of the gates that you're going to, he will not receive you. He told him things that he did which you cannot allow him to be accepted. He terrified him. And the Christian was like, you're confused about that. The only of that get have already forgiven me. I would like to speak to the people tonight. This is the evening of receiving the mercy of God. Hey! Hallelujah! Shake your neighbor and tell them that receive the mercy of God. The second word. He approved him with the bonds that 
of the people he killed in the ways. There is no single person who can not who he call himself powerful who can fall. The day Ben Hin was separated with his wife. People said that his anointing is broken. And an international evangelist. How can he break up with her marriage? And Ben Hin told them that this case it is the only one that Satan saw in my way of my life because I've already shut it down I would like God to set to your calling I want God to hide you from I want God to hide you from weakness may God reveal you another sign the mistake that people call they know where we commit sin but they don't know where we repent them and protect yourself harder from defeating in the first time it doesn't end up the match and all the goals that you want yourself you can pay them in the second time and the noise of funds it does not replace there is a man called Jesus there is something that is still, we still remember you he has promoted Paul to Timothy he told him that everything they speak about me tell your neighbor that in your weakness you don't explain yourself people say what's right and they add on what's not but all in all the king have already forgiven us there are people whom Jesus forgave. Shout a hallelujah. Hey. He is from what Christian told Apollon. He told him there are people that you killed and I can see it. But I will not die like them. I would like to remind you Satan cannot shoot a weak person because he does not disturb his kingdom. Satan shoots the powerful one. And even when God is going to raise them, he raises them in extraordinary power. There are double portions of anointing that's going to come upon you. Let me remind you that people have seasons and the genealogical star. You're going to shake your neighbor and tell them that you're going to surprise in the name of Jesus. I thank God for prophets. The man whom God is giving the gift of seeing the stars of the people who are born while I was there, I had a voice. The voice that taught me that God is going to take off cover to the people who cover. I thank God for the shepherd We pray together very much in And God used us mighty things. There is a day God said while we was concluding the And God said those who was number first are going to become number one. And those who was number last are going to become number first. At that time, Papa Ejen was in the protocol. I used to preach and he was yet been on the pulpit. And now I just get the bus going to hear from him. I thank God that in whatever he said, God is coming back on us and is alive. Barakajira is my friend. We thank God that the entire world is gathering with us. Go and tell people that we rose again. And go and tell people that we Go and tell people that we yeah, rose again. Yes. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Tell us, and do men, the daughter, the sila bini, the daughter, the ba, Adila wala, me zangola. Hallelujah. Amen. Amina. 
that this is your season in the name of Jesus. 